This is Nasser Bouani's brand new Orbea Orca Aero. It's the first aero road bike that Orbea have ever made. And by all accounts, according to wind tunnel data, it is fast. Now we'll see during this year's Tour de France just how fast Bouani can make it go. But he has just got himself a 27 watt advantage over his standard Superlight and also aero Orbea Orca road bike. Let's find out a little bit more, shall we? Now, before we go into equipment choices, let's look at this frame in a little more detail, shall we? It is a very, very interesting bike. And there's one particular reason I'm saying that, and that is because the UCI over the winter relaxed their three to one ratio rule. So that was the rule that governed how deep and how narrow tubes could be. And so this bike is the first, apparently, to take advantage of that. So what that means, firstly, is that it can be made more aerodynamic. So the fork blades are super narrow, but also super deep. So that really helps with that. But also, it can help to improve stiffness. So if you look closely at some of those tube sections, particularly the chain stays, they're absolutely massive. And so that means it is phenomenally stiff. Stiffness was one of the objectives of Orbea when they set out to make it. Aerodynamic first, then stiff second. And so a rider like Nasser Buhani particularly is going to be very, very pleased indeed. Going back to a comparison with their Orca lightweight frame, apparently torsional stiffness up at the front end has been boosted from 90 newton meters per degree right up to 124 newton meters per degree. Now that is a significant increase, I think you'll agree. Now, to boost it even more, Buani has actually gone for this monster vision stem here. Most of the rest of the team are using the really super nice aerodynamic Metron one-piece bind stem, but Buani has forsaken a little bit of aerodynamics in favour of this. This could be the stiffest front end of any bike at the Tour de France. Staying up front for just a minute, let's also look at the handlebars. Buani has chosen aluminium bars. Now, it wasn't long ago that pretty much all pros still used aluminium bars for concerns about safety and longevity in a crash, but now pretty much everyone's transitioned over to carbon. But these bad boys are on here, FSA Energies, presumably for stiffness. The one thing I'm noticing is the fact that they are super narrow. If I measure them up, 38 centimetres. Narrow is aero when it comes to handlebars. Now let's move around to the rear of the bike, shall we? It's not all about stiffness. The seat post in particular, super narrow, but actually it's narrow in all directions as well. And that's made so that it gives a little bit more compliance to the bike, so it's not rigid everywhere. And that's definitely a good thing. The other thing that's gonna give a little bit more comfort is the fact that Burani is running, as everyone is, 25 millimeter tires. But there is, by the look of it, clearance for up to 28s in there, should he wish. Now those tyres are Kenda SCs and they are glued to Vision Metron 55 wheels, which funnily enough have actually got Buani's name on there. So you wonder slightly whether or not there may be something special about these wheels because riders don't normally get personalised wheels. So something perhaps we need to check back on. Group set now and the coffers team are using Shimano Dura. So everyone is on the electronic DI2. A couple of riders are sticking with mechanical, but Buani here is indeed on DI2. Again, this Orbea makes use of the fact that the junction box can be hidden in the down tube there. So that makes the bike, again, more aerodynamic as well as just looking a bit prettier. We've got 11 to 28 cassette on there. That will change depending on exactly what the stage is, as perhaps with the chain rings as well. Bujani's using 5339, but you'll notice that that is a FSA time trial chain ring. Not only is it gonna be slightly more aerodynamic, it's also likely to be super stiff as well. So that's really gonna help with the kind of power that Bujani puts out in sprints. That's mounted to an FSA K-Force Lite crank set, and he's running 172.5 mil cranks, which is quite long for a rider of his stature. He is, after all, running a 49 centimetre frame. Brakes are Shimano Durace again, and they are now the direct mount versions as well, which is the first Orbea to have those. So that is partly what gives the bike a little bit more tyre clearance as well. Then lastly, we've got Prologo Nago Evo saddle. That's one of the ones with the grippy little dots on there. So really good if you are particularly prone to sliding around in the saddle. That's gonna effectively grip your cycling shorts. They're not gonna slide. And then the last thing I think we've got to give a bit of a nod to is that really kind of cool looking bar tape. Before we take a look at the vital statistics of this bike, so the dimensions and also the weight, 
a few very nice touches on this. Firstly, the team is sponsored by Jaguar Cables. So you haven't got gear cables on this, obviously, because it's electronic, but we do have the modular aluminium brake cables. So they're much lighter than standard ones, and they also promise improved braking feel as well, because the housing is what's called compressionless. So all your power gets transferred straight to the brake pads. Then, We've got a ceramic speed bottom bracket in there as well. The team is sponsored by them, so less resistance from your bottom bracket bearings, supposedly. Then you'll also notice that there is an absence anywhere in this bike of any kind of power meter, which is quite odd in the modern day and age, but Buhani forsakes power meters, says he doesn't want to use one, and so he doesn't. Probably the sign of a man with good results and a team leader as is the fact that he's only running one water bottle cage. Not many people could get away with riding the Tour de France with one water bottle, but if you're a team leader, then you have a constant supply of domestiques bringing you drinks. So perhaps that's what he's going for. 70.1 centimeters. And then the bars to the stem, I'm measuring as 57 center bars to tip of saddle. That's quite a long reach actually for that saddle height. 7.5. So that is Nasabuani's super fast and brand new Orbea Orca aero bike. Make sure you let us know in the comment section down below just what you think of it. And if you like watching pro bikes on GCN, firstly, you've got to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you already do, but just in case you don't, click on the globe now, it's completely free. Then if you want to watch some more GCN content, firstly, stick with the aero theme, We've got an Aero Tour de France tech special just down there, or to see another pro bike, click just there.